Hello one and all, welcome to Scene Through Glass. You may have seen a recent video of mine where I did my most traditional car review to date of the Jaguar F-Type SVR. Well today I'm once again in the unfamiliar setting of a traditional formal press event. We are down here at the new Renault Clio press drive and I've come to a very picturesque test track in France to check out the brand new Clio RS, a car I am stupidly excited about because I've always loved Renault sports cars ever since I basically took my test. However, even though I've flown all the way here, I'm just going to be getting five laps in the car around a test track, as all the other journalists have been doing. But it means I'm getting into an unfamiliar car on an unfamiliar test track, and somehow I need to sum it all up for you guys. Wish me luck. Now the day wasn't all about the RS, we were able to get our hands on some other engines in the new Clio range. We jumped into the 110 DCI diesel and we got our hands on the top range petrol engine as well. I think we much preferred the petrol but as a little hatchback it definitely was fun to drive. A few bits of the interior quality were a little bit dodged but we had a very very nice morning. One extra caveat to the day was that it was the French and Romanian press drives which meant that all the briefings happened in different languages. So by the time it came to jump in the RS, I simply had no idea about the car. Okay, first things first, and we have a sighter lap in the, oh my God, we got massive gear shifts. We're in an auto. We're in an auto, paddles. Paddles. Seven, seven gear dual clutch. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, so I've got Seb with me, obviously. Seb is also out here because of his work with Renault. You've got the Megane GT whoop. at the moment. Yeah. And I thought, so that I don't forget anything, why not bring the Renault expert in the car? That would be me. Oh, yeah. And just to give you a little bit more context uh, for the day, we are in the Renault Clio RS Trophy. So this is 220? 220 horsepower. 220 horsepower. That is power. right, Jen. Uh, James. Sam. Sam, cheers for that, mate. Um, and then as Seb was saying, we've got a seven speed. Seven speed. Oh my God, this is so, I feel under so much pressure immediately. <laughs> and we are on this very nice Renault Sport test track. It's really nice, isn't it's it? It's really it's massive. nice. Yeah, massive, really picturesque. I always prefer to see what cars are like on the road. But anyway, we're gonna enjoy our short experience with this car, it already feels a lot of fun, I have to say. Gearbox is quick. Where's launch? Yeah, Ooh, that's RS Drive. RS drive. I'm in Renault Sport, I've got as a light. What press RS Drive, what happens? <gasps> Mode normal. No, yeah, okay. so we were in Sport, okay. I imagine that's just like a standard Sport yeah. button, right? Yeah, yeah, effectively, there's just, they call it RS Drive. Fives everything up, makes throttle response quicker, steering a little sharper. And we're now about to begin our three quick laps. Yeah. You feeling confident? Nope. How do you feel about the track? Did you, don't feel you, confident. Did you memorize any of the track? Don't remember any of the track. Really don't remember anything, if I'm honest. But I'm here to, here to tell you guys about the car. And not crash on a press drive. That would not be good. Yeah. Anyways. Still, how cool is this? Yeah, I, don't, so I, cool. I don't mean to take the piss, by the way. If you think I'm being ungrateful, amazing opportunity. Oh, he just did a launch. Do you know how you do that? No, foot on the brake, maybe? I have no, no idea. No, I'm just gonna gun yeah. it. I'm just gonna gun it and see what happens. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wait for Fingers the green crossed. light. Green. That wasn't a launch, but still. Ooh. It sounds good. It sounds amazing. It sounds really good. Right, we're joining the track through the pit lane. Probably not be too much of a maniac. Those gear shifts sound awesome. This is so cool. It feels, it feels quick as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Where's the, where is that breaking point? There yeah. it is, over the yeah. blind crest. Ooh. Okay, brakes, brakes are, are good. good. Yeah. Brakes are good. That, that breaking point is way too early. Braking, braking is really good. Oh, beautiful oh. line, Sam. It does sound brilliant. Clips the inside, all oh, little. Feels quick. 
feels great from here. <laughs> <laughs> You're having a great time, isn't it? Fun sitting yeah, in the passenger amazing. seat. My hands are going to turn into line. water any second now. Line line. Lap one is done. And initial impressions is that this thing is a lot of fun on the track. Wow. Wow, what happened there? That's what I was going to tell you. Maybe I should know that. Cones in the middle of the track. Feel free to interrupt me, man. Feel free to interrupt me. Okay, wide turn in on this track that I do not know. Probably didn't need a downshift there. Please, no one correct my driving style. <laughs> I'm feeling under immense pressure. Never driven the car, never been around the track. No. Today, okay, wait, well. Seb, what am I not telling people? What should I be saying? Um, it's a really fun little car. <laughs> no, 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 you watch said everything. Okay. 220 horsepower, 7 speed brakes dual are, clutch brakes gearbox. Are mega. Yeah, it's got these sporty steel disc brakes. Um, and it, it, it genuinely, we're on a pretty decent track here, and it genuinely feels quick. It is fast. I think you've got this on. Good. Yeah, the gearbox is quick. And the, the turning, like, I'm not getting masses of understeer, which I think is what you usually get on hatchbacks, isn't it? Yeah. Like front wheel front drive. Front wheel drive hatchback, yeah, you get Classic, a lot of classic understeer, and I'm just not but I think getting a hold out of that. I think they put a sporty compound tyre on this. Okay. Which would make sense. Would make a lot of sense. The RS. Yeah. Oh, you would have a lot of fun with this. You know what? It's funny. My recent love and appreciation for Renault sport cars, and particularly the Clio and Megane RS, has come from uh, seeing them at track days. So since we took our BRDC National B race license, yeah. I've been to more track days and I've seen Clio and Megane RSs and been like, hello! And now this kind of makes me want one just for a, a track toy. <laughs> This is brilliant! This is so much fun. Oh my god, this is brilliant! You're nailing it as well, this is really good. It feels um it feels supple as well. <laughs> you like that braking zone, oh, don't you? I love that braking zone. Because the brakes are so good. You do that one nicely. This is Is it controllable? Does it feel like it's fighting it doesn't, you? No, or no, no, it feels really smooth. It feels really smooth. And like, like you can just push it, but you're not going to go, I mean, maybe I'll go flying into a wall, but it doesn't feel like I'm going to go flying into a wall. So basically what you do now is you keep going till you catch up with the... It's giving me confidence. You keep going, I can tell. You're giving, you keep going to a wall? You catch up with the safety car. Oh my god, I, this is so much fun. Okay, we have to be realistic as well, that now I kind of understand why they give you the chance on track because it's just fun driving on track isn't it what an intoxicating experience okay so cool down lap what a cool little car very cool little car i mean it's very hard guys this is why i should not be a car journalist and just remain a vlogger i have a lot of respect for the i have doing. so much respect for the guys who get in and actually talk sense because i realized i just shouted and said the brakes are good yeah. That's pretty much all I've done. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> like, yeah, it, that's what it makes you do on track. And as I say, that's kind of where I've had a lot of appeal and lust for the RS at the moment. And the noise. The noise is good. So and the question know. is, though, against like a a five nine five, a Bath, or what else is kind of this track? Because this is twenty one grand car. It's twenty one grand feels pretty good. Around for town, car. you don't need much more. I think it could look a bit more aggressive, but that's what I think the RS16 concept's all yeah, about, which yeah. I am obsessed by. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it, it could look more aggressive for sure. Yeah. We're following some now. Yeah, it just looks like a. It looks like a clear. Yeah, yeah. But it is jolly good fun to drive. Jolly good, <laughs> sir. Yes. Ten points from Gryffindor. Oh my God, your turn now, Seb. Yeah, I, I need to get the cameras up. Thanks for not killing me. Woohoo! That was fun. <laughs> With huge thanks to Lucas Jaguar West London, I finally have my hands on the Jaguar F-Type SVR. <laughs>